Before we go, here's Rita Ora performing her latest single, How We Do. Have a great day. I stumble up to the window Open the curtains to blind in light Make up all over the pillow What went on, what went on, what went on last night You look so, hey I wanna party and boy and party Cause when the sun sets, baby Now, three years ago, our next singer was an, our next guest was an unknown singer, and she caught the eye of the rapper Jay Z. He flew her to New York, and after hearing her sing, he snapped her up to his record label. And today, Rita Ora is hot property with three number ones under her belt, supporting Coldplay on tour, and even guest judging a slot on the X Factor. We'll be speaking to Rita in a moment, who's here. Good morning to you, Rita. Morning. Yeah, we're going to be speaking to her in a moment. She's also going to be playing us one of her songs a bit later. But first, let's take a look at one of her hit singles, R.I.P. Well, Rita's album Aura is out today. She's uh, here with us. Great to see you. You oh, have had a whirlwind you. weekend. You've played, what, two festivals? You did X Factor Saturday night. Yes. You were in here at half past five for a sound check. Yes. Have you slept? Um, no. <laughs> no, but I think you don't really need to sleep right now. I, th I think um, I'm actually fine. I'll sleep later, like in the car or something. Who needs sleep? <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. That speaks a youngster. <laughs> you've had three consecutive number ones this year, the only, only person to do that. Yes. And you've got oh. Jay, Jay Z as your backing. What's that like? Is he a good mentor? Um, well, I can tell you that he's um, incredible at what he does. He's, um, I'm just really happy to be under the belt of um, such a legend in our generation, and not only that, but we've got something in common. We both love music. It's cool to have a kind of boss that loves the same thing you love. So. Uh, I know that, that creatively he'll always kind of understand me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so it's really cool. Let's talk a bit about your backstory. You grew up in London, yeah. but yeah. actually your life was defined by a decision that your parents took when you were just a toddler. One, yeah, when I was one. Yeah, they, they were in Kosovo. And yes. They, they from, took the decision to move out. Yeah, I'm from Pristina, which is the capital of Kosovo. And um, when I was one, my sister was three, we moved to London. And uh, I think obviously my parents knew what was coming and that there was a problem about to happen and obviously my, my family, my grandparents couldn't all go so you know my mum and dad did the right thing and they made a decision to move me to London. It's so. a difficult decision for them to leave their yeah. parents behind I guess. It is and I, I remember because my mum never knew how to speak English so while she was raising us you know she was learning how to speak English and doing her studies because she's a doctor now, she's a psychiatrist so she had to study all over again and um, you know come to think of it now like she's actually a superhero, she's yeah. like a superwoman because yeah. she did all those things at once and you know my dad now owns pubs and it's really good now but growing up it wasn't you know the easiest lifestyle in the world. Well you've worked for your success and I don't Thank think you. anyone would begrudge you for one minute. Yeah and, and having such kind of strong-willed parents I guess that's been a big influence on your career has it because you've you're, you're already 21 and you're oh, doing yeah. incredibly well for Thank that. You. Yeah I mean my mum and dad always told me you know if you just kind of do your own thing and you're confident and you stick by your decisions even if they are wrong you know sometimes you just gotta always own what you do so uh, that's what I've been doing since I was young. So how did the <laughs> singing come into it? How did you get here? Well, my mum actually didn't know I could sing until my singing teacher said, you know your daughter can sing? She was like, really? <laughs> um, and then when I was six, joined the choir, and then I went to school, called Sil I went to Sylvia Young Theatre School. I auditioned for Sylvia Young, and uh, that's when my mum was like, all right, you know what? 
she's, uh, she's got something there. So then, gradually, I was just kind of grinding, you know, I was just singing everywhere I could and it came to a point where I just didn't take no for an answer. We talked about your incredibly busy weekend. Do you, do you <laughs> actually have to, have to pinch yourself in some ways? Yes, but you know what, I love being busy. When I was younger, after school I would work, I, was, I would work in Portobello. I lived right next to Portobello Market and I would, um, you know, work and wherever I could and I'd make, what, like £60 on the weekend and I'd spend that on a pair of trainers or going out with my friends. So I was always the type to kind of always keep a momentum with everything I was doing. So it was just kind of part of me. But when you got the call saying yeah. Jay-Z wants to fly you over to New York, <laughs> hello Jay-Z, you know, now to be on set. Yeah, yeah no, do you know how it was a moment I'll never forget. I was on my way to my best friend's graduation. She was graduating, it was like her day, you know, and then I got the call and I was in the car with my um, other friend and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm about to go to New York. She's like, what? This is meant to be my day, what do you mean? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> You know, I went to the graduation, I didn't tell her, and then after it was her moment, I was like, you know what, we did it. And uh, she was over the moon. My mum had no idea who he was. And then I was like, you know that song, 99 Problems? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she knew who he was. <laughs> well, your, your album's out today, isn't Yes, it? my album is out today. I can't believe it. It's really weird. And it's been, it's been a, you know, it's taken you a while to put it together as well. It's been a long, yeah. a labour of love. Oh, it has. It's been a labour of love, frustration. Um, my album was ready when I was 19. Mm. And then I scrapped it all and I started again. Um, I just didn't feel like what I was talking about was really relevant to me. And my mum was like, you don't really care about the things you're singing about. And I agreed, so we started again. And uh, I'm happy to say we have a finished product, finally. Well, we look forward to uh, hearing you singing one of the songs from it yes. a little bit later uh, in the programme. Before we uh, do that, though, when it comes to...